Okay. Hello, hi everyone. Today we are going to learn to find how to find trigonometric ratios of any angle. During the trigonometric classes, you must have been hearing about cast rule. So, what is that cast rule? C A S T cast rule. A represents all trigonometric ratios are positive in this quadrant. Here, sine cosec are positive. Here, tan cot are positive. Here, cos sec are positive. The axis and y axis intersect each other at 90 degrees. So, this is 90, here is 90, here is 90, here is 90. So from 0 to if it is 0 here, 0 to here 90 and 90 plus 90 is 180 180 plus 90 is 270 and here is 360 370 plus 90, 360 360, okay So our topic is Trigonometric ratios of any angle. We should understand trigonometric ratios of any angle. Which there are six trigonometric ratios in. Uh, I mean, there are six ratios in trigonometric. Trigonometric, they are sine, cos, tan, cot, cosec, sec. and cot so now any trigonometric ratios can be expressed in the form of n into 90 plus minus theta where when you multiply uh, and this when n is where n is where n is an integer So in examination, generally, you will be asked without calculating to evaluate the value of sine 210. Cos 330. Tan 240. What do you consider 10 minus 570? So for this, we have to learn this topic today. So your first step is you have to identify how n is even or not. If n is even, there will be no sense. No sense that is sine becomes sine cos becomes cos. Look at here, there is no sense sine become has become sine cos is cos similar to tan is. Also ten. Similarly, others also cosec and into ninety plus minus three equal to cosec. So what does this mean? Union does not change. We'll uh, look into the uh, after one for, uh, one example ten forty. So first divide this ten forty by uh, sorry two forty by. Divide 240 by 90. How much you will get? Use this calculator. 240 divided by 90. 
it's 2 point something that means 90 into 2 becomes 100 and 240 minus uh, 180 okay answer is how much 60 so 60 here 90 plus you can write 60 that means what you this can be seen into here so sine 240 is equivalent to sine 1 into 90 multiplicand of 90s 1 here so according to this formula sine sorry this is 2 according to the formula if n is even here n is equal to 2 and it is even so it does not change in the value of sine 60 so a standard value of sine 60 is root 3 upon 2 this way we can easily evaluate the value of sine 240 as it's root 3 by 2 similarly to if n is odd odd then trigonometric ratios sends as follows what sign I don't write anything so sign changes into cos Megan cost is equal to sign if it is the winner. Sec changes into cosec and cosec changes into sec. Tan changes into cot, similarly, cot changes into tan. That is vice versa. So let us take example of odd so sign 105 suppose we have to evaluate this then what you have to do is again our our idea our, our method is 105 is divided by 90 so divided to this calculator 105 divided by 90 it's 1 suppose this is 1.16 so 91 1 into 90 plus 15 So, sign, <coughs> sign, here is 1 into 90 plus 15, here is odd, multiplier of 90 is odd, so it becomes cos 15, okay, this way you should understand. Similarly, when you take Three hundred thirty. Okay. Sign. Three hundred thirty. So this can be represented as. Okay, let's divide. Three hundred thirty divided by. 90 
330 to 90 it's what 3 point something so 90 into 3 170 minus 170 with 60 so since it is odd here multiply by it becomes cos and it applies the same for all the trigonometries cos sin is changed into cos here's this theta here instead of theta this side 60 cos 60 sorry so sin has converted into 60 when he and is odd but one more thing you should remember is that in this quadrant in this quadrant even if the value of a uh, sign uh, all, all the, uh, except the sign and cos all that all the trigonometric values are negative and in this quadrant all the trigonometric values are negative except tan and cot so look at here i will apply the same rule here this is 330 so 330 this uh, okay suppose this is what 3 into 90 3 into 90 so you should understand your you always begins from 3 means what 3 into 90 uh, 270 uh, this angle uh, uh, 330 lies where here 330 lies here isn't it? 330 lies here and there is again plus 330 lies here and 300, uh, we have the value of 330 and 330 lies here it is greater than 270 plus theta 270 19 to 3 is 270 plus 60 so what is the reason this is the reason for this angle you can write this is 360 minus theta this is 90 minus theta this is 360 plus theta this is 90 plus theta this is 180 minus theta 180 plus theta this is the reason because this is greater than 180 also this is 270 minus theta okay so in this reason cos is positive cos and sec are positive but this is what we're uh, taking here so sign means 30 and this should be negative here because it lies in this quadrant fourth quadrant in this c quadrant where the values of cos and sec are only positive but we're taking sign so it, it, this must be negative and cos 60 evaluate this angle here and the value before the, uh, that value will be uh, value, um, the sign before that value will be negative so this is this is the rule for so i just explain that rule but this is first step through the sign of the trigonometric ratio of the angle angle is determined determined by taking into consideration that in which the angle lights understood 
so so okay um, okay uh, we have done that example here also and suppose this is 10 randomly you take the value of 10 600 okay 10 minus 600 so 10 minus theta is minus 10 theta 10 theta cos and sig uh, minus uh, cos and sig minus theta are only positive but all other technologies in, in inside this value if your angle is negative then the uh, it is negative so again we will apply the same 600 divided by 90 It is six point something and ninety into six means five forty five no sorry six five forty sixty okay ignore this this is nothing 60 is suppose uh, it is what 6 so 6 means what you should uh, run 6 times if you go to easy way 6 times that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it is theta here greater than what 6 uh, here is theta so this means one two three four five six and plus here isn't it so it lies here it, uh, what is the value for 10 here 10 and quarter positive because of it the value of 10 is positive here 10 60 means 10 60 but it was before uh, minus not because of this uh, otherwise and there would be there would have been minus 10 also but this is not the case here in this quadrant third quadrant third quadrant and quarter positive so we have not any minus here for more any in another minus here so 1060 is minus root we, we were evaluating the 240 so 240 lies look at here 9 into 2 means 1t plus theta this acts as what 1t plus 60 so this is equivalent look at here one t plus theta so theta here it is 60 so we have got this sine 60 and the value of sine 1 t plus 60 is look at here in 1 t plus theta reason the value of tan and cot are only positive whereas <coughs> others are negative other terminal have negative values here in this reason therefore uh, in fact our, our we have to evaluate 240 so we have convert into 180 plus 60 and so in this region uh, the value of sine will be negative and this theta is sine 60 here so this is what minus root 3 upon 2 so in fact you should this is the right answer similarly what happens when if it was uh, minus here anyway you you have got here minus then you should you should not uh, suppose 2 into 90 minus 60 if you have got in that way then you should you should run to two quadrants and your quadrants always begins from here one two and here is uh, because of this plus here we have to count this third quadrant to one two three because of the 60 uh, but when there is minus then we don't have to count we should stay in the same quadrant one two so this will be our reason uh, into consideration at the time and which applies to all the trigonometric ratios sine cos 10 cot sec and cosec and this is all about this topic hope you guys understood if you have any questions please leave your comment below thank you